So, you may have heard of Google Keep. Well, it's Google's note-taking application. And in this video, we're going to give you a full guide to using it and to explore all of the features that you can muster and make your own. It is what I describe as the post-it notes for your phone because it has a simple note-taking experience with a great way to set reminders, location reminders, and even use it for shopping list, whatever it may be. But we're gonna explore it in this video and give you an idea of all of the special powers that it does. So folks, if you're interested in getting three new tools in your inbox every single week, I'm gonna send them to you. And they're ones that I think are new and noteworthy. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up to the newsletter below and discover three new tools every week. On with the video. So let's just jump straight in. I think the first thing to do is if you want, you can go to the top right hand corner and enable dark mode. So if you're one of these people that love dark mode, I, I personally like light mode because they've got some great themes that we'll come to talking about. But with Google Keep, you can download it on iOS and Android, which means you can get it on your phone, handy in your pocket, set reminders on it. And that's a great way to get a nudge when you've got a specific location or uh, a notification and you want a push notification for it. Now let's get started with what you can actually do. So with Google Keep, you can take a note. Now, as you can imagine, with all the notes you take, you can add a title and you can start using the note to add bullet points, whatever it may be. You could even put together an idea that you've had for business or even what you'd like to wear for your next, uh, I don't know, wedding you're going to hypothetically. And you can also set something called a reminder. Now a reminder is great because they appear if you use Google Calendar over there too, but if you've got the iOS or Android app, it'll nudge you when you've got a little notification. And that is so perfect. You can pick a time and a date or use some of the preset snoozes, which is basically reminder, or you can pick a place and choose a location so that when you arrive there, it nudges you. So for example, if I go to the shop, then it nudges me that I need to pick up these routine items. It could be hypothetically milk, bread, and uh, I don't know, uh, some steak. But the idea behind it is so that I never forget and my wife is not angry. Perfect, right? Now, the other benefit to this is you can add your wife or your partner or whoever you are working with. You can email access to that account. And this is great because it will appear in their account, allowing you to collaborate on a certain note. So very much a great way to get started. Now, let's talk about the backgrounds because these are awesome. You can choose from a few different backgrounds like a recipes one or even just a simple note one. And these are lovely illustrative backgrounds. And you can also add a color to those at the same time. You don't have to have any. If you want to just a traditional post-it note look, you can have no background and just that yellow look. And that's great for being able to set stuff. So uh, you could put idea and idea for post-it note, etc. And if I go back out, it looks like a post-it note, which is quite nice. Now you can also add a variety of other details to this. You can add a label if you want, which is a great way to break things down. So if you wanna have a personal label, which will organize your life stuff and a work label to help focus on work, thank God I haven't got anything in there. And you can go back to the notes there, which is a great way to organize them. You can also add a drawing, if you're on the mobile device and you want to be able to sketch one up, uh, I'm not very good at drawing, but you may want to be able to bring an idea to life for this, then you can do. You can also show checkboxes, and this is how I've done it here. And you can see down here, this is a shared note, which means that I've given access to another person as well to be able to modify this. So I can move stuff up and down, I can add list items down here, and I can see when it was last edited and created as well over here. So it's really a great way for me to just build these checkboxes list items, whether I'm going away for a trip or whatever it may be. I can even hide those checkboxes if I don't find it suitable. So it's a really good way to break things down. Now you can even see version history. And why is that useful? Well, say if somebody's made a lot of changes, you can download those changes and get them in a text format to bring back or to use later. So let's show you some more superpowers. Now, if you're somebody that uses Google Docs quite a lot, you can essentially use this to create items. So if you press keep here, it loads it up and essentially you can start making a note within this document. So if you're starting to bring ideas together for a contract and you want to be able to take some notes on it additional that live inside your Google Keep, you can do that. And then it just starts connecting those documents to the Keep, which is very, very helpful. So for those who want to be able to access it, you can do it on this right hand side at any point even if you're in Gmail. So you can also connect up, obviously, um, some emails and be able to bring them in as well. So Google Keep 
you can also remove that source if you want to. So anytime I can archive these, but you may notice some difference. There's sort of two sections here. Well, you can pin items in the top right corner to your note and you can unpin them as well. And this is a great way to just keep things a little bit clearer and you can pin stuff specifically in different places. For example, with those labels, which is a great way just to organize stuff. And here you can see all of your reminders and you can even see any reminders without a note, which is a great way to see stuff and you can delete them if you find it not suitable anymore. So other things you can do with Google Keep, you can upload images. So that's helpful for breaking down information and they look great when you add them. So for example, I could add a, uh, I don't know, this logo that I've got added to my account and I could press close and that will appear as a note but full bleed, which is perfect for organizing. I can also go over to here and start adding a note, but there's also this other view if you just want a more streamlined view of all of your notes. So anytime you can edit your different labels here and give them different names, you can see stuff that's archived here and you can go back to your notes and go to settings. Inside of settings, you can change what defined as a morning, you may be a late waker upper and whether you want to enable sharing and add all all the relative stuff like rich links because you can send links here on Google Keep as well, which is really helpful. Now there's a refresh option, but to be honest, it works pretty fast and means that the sync will work from your phone, which is great. So did that teach you about everything about Google Keep? I really, really hope it did. Um, as you can imagine, Google Keep is a powerful tool, but there's lots of other tools on the market. So if you're exploring more tools, you can jump over to toolfinder.co to explore more options in the wild. Thank you so much for stopping by. I look forward to helping you with future videos. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and I'll see you in future videos. So do make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment below with what you learned in this video. Cheerio for now anyway.